Hey there, in this video we are going to deploy and run our first function. In the previous video we learned how function works, now you know the basics, and in this video we will go on a practical example of how we can deploy and run it on an actual store. There is a diagram that explains how function works, I will go through this quickly uh, and then we will start the practical work. As a developer, um, you create the function, you deploy it to Shopify. Shopify gives you an ID, if you want to run this function on any store, you will register it using that ID. This is uh, how it works. You are the developer and you just make it, you deploy it and you make it configurable. When someone install your app, you already have the ID. When someone try to create a function or a discount, you will use that ID to create it. This is the merchant who will configure it. Merchants are the one who is going to install your app and then interact with it. A customer, when a customer is interacting with the store, adding product to the cart, the function will execute. Either that is applying a discount code, limiting checkout, or applying some validation, this is what your function will do. So in this example, we are going to go with the product discount, uh, which we created in the previous video. Let me go to my editor. I have installed a new code editor called Z. I'm trying this out. This is a very fast editor. It is similar to VS Code but it is much faster written in Rust. Uh, you will find it um, like easy if you, have, if you are using um, VS Code, so it should be easy. This is our function, nothing here, and check out the file structure. We have this product discount JS in here, nothing else, and we don't have any .env file here. I'm going to deploy this function. We created this, it is local, we have not deployed it yet. Let's deploy it and get the ID. That is the first step. I'm going to run npm run deploy. If this is the first time, you have to create the app. We have not created this app yet, and it is going to ask me, do you want to include this um, app.taml? Yes, I want to include this. This is the first time, and I am going to create a new extension. Yes, create an extension for me, and it is going to create that extension. Um, now, here is the thing. When the extension is created, when we deploy this, it is going to use the default configuration for uh, your partner. You can have different partner account uh, in the Shopify, but if you open this link, it is going to take you to that uh, uh, app and the partner account. So if I open this, let's see, this is my Shopify partner account and this is my uh, uh, function basic. Uh, I have here, if I go to this discount here, uh, I should see the ID of this um, extension that I have. This is my uh, extension. Uh, there is configuration, like these are the basic things. And if I go to this one, and it should give me an ID. But it is not giving me an ID because I am in the version here. You should go to extension. In here you will get the ID. So if you click on it, uh, it should load the ID. This is the ID for my function. Now, if any user want to use this, they have to use this ID. Okay, cool, I have it. What else has changed in my code? In here, a new file .env, uh, .env was created. This is um, the key for Shopify API, and this is the um, product discount ID that I have. Now, Shopify stored this in the env because you might use uh, GraphQL to register this. So let's run our app. This is the second thing. When we run the app, we can um, then have access to which story we want to install. So let's do that. I'm going to run npm, run dev. Since this is the first time, it should ask me about uh, where I want to run this. I have a code inspired app.dev. Um, in here, this is just a basic uh, store. I'm going to run this. On this store, it will pick that and also the app, the Shopify app.taml will also update based on this configuration. Let's see, do you want to automatically update this? I will say yes. Now you should check this did update. And this is the new URL and every time you run your app on development, this URL application URL will update here and anything else. This is the API version at the time of recording this video. I can install the app. Since this is the first time, I have to open it and install the app on a store then I will have access to GraphQL. This is what it is going to ask. I'm going to install this. Um, these are the basic things. I assume you know these things, but I will go through them again because it is very important for the, the beginners. 
my app is running here it is not doing anything now let's register our um, functions so how do we do that there is two way one is using the UI you create a button when a user create that button you will register it using GraphQL behind the scene the other method is on development you can also open the GraphQL editor here so if you open this it should open the GraphQL editor with all your existing GraphQL query if you have any since I'm working with different apps I already have like delayed meta field create product bundle all of these are written I just change the variables it is going to create that for me in this example we will go through and we will create a new one so I'm going to create a new tab here for this one we are going to register our function registering function is easy it depends on which function you want to register I explained this in the previous videos we have different type of function either that is discount cart validation discount allocator uh, customizing checkout customizing uh, shipping method customizing payment method things like that each of these functions have different way of registering discount is using um, like a mutation for the discount creation uh, if you have a discount allocator this is how you will register it discount allocator register then you will pass the function ID for that and it is going to create this discount for you this is for discount allocation if you want to unregister it you will use the unregister mutation this is how it works uh, for like delivery customization this is how you can get delivery customization these are like the, the records that I, I have here but these are the basic things now how do we register our function since this is a discount uh, function I have to use the discount uh, way of registering how do we do this I'll go through the documentation and there is an example of build a discount function here if you click on this it gives you a step by step of how you can work with the function I highly recommend you to go through this article and see how this one is going through and creating a basic discount in here it has this um, discount uh, automatic app create dot graphql in here you have the mutation you can copy the exact same thing change the title the function ID as I mentioned you need the function ID is starting at this is optional and this is one if you run this in your GraphQL app it should create the discount for you now I am going to run this one but we might see an issue this copy this also as I mentioned I my job is to explain how things work if you want to know more about this I want to explore I want to teach you the documentation as well this is how you do you just copy this here paste it in the GraphQL you will go to the mutation and it will give you more example of how you can run this if you are using GraphQL this is how you can run it how you can pass all the variables in here one example if you are using remix which we have the remix app this is how you can do it you have access to the admin .graphql and you run it pass all the variable it is important to understand how you will you will find all these example and from the drop down here you have different ways of like different example you can switch on um, this is hard to find if you are starting to work with the API but this is like great example that you can find here I'll go back to the JavaScript let's open the GraphQL I'll copy this and we'll come to the GraphQL query this is the one that I have created I'll paste it here uh, this is my mutation um, I didn't name it anything that's why the title is untitled but if you want to have a name something like this you can add a mutation give it a name and then pass it something like this this is not like uh, uh, the topic of GraphQL but I try to explain a lot of things here if, if I, uh, as much as I can okay here is what you can the volume discount let's say we are creating volume discount we have the function ID here and then I starting it this is a past date but that's okay it is still going to work let's put the ID here for now we can hard code it or we can put it in the variable for this example I am going to copy this and we are going to hard code it paste it here oops okay cool this is the title that's okay we are going to call it volume discount when this mutation run it is going to create a discount for me using this function ID when we pass the function ID this function will automatically run on this store okay and all the code and logic that we have inside the run.js will run every time a customer interact with a card that is how it works again you can watch this video again where what I explain here okay cool let's run this in order to create a discount you need a scope 
if I run this for now, it is going to say access denied for automatic discount because I don't have the scope of right discount. This is true, I need to have this right discount. That's why I didn't add this scope. This will give me an error. This is the first lesson of how you read the error and how you can fix this. To fix this, you will come in the configuration. You just copy the axis that you want, right discount. Then you will come to your code. Under the scopes, we have right product. You put comma and you paste it here. Now, when you save this, nothing should happen. Like the configuration has changed. It reload everything. But if I come to my app, let's see what happened. I refresh it. If everything works properly, it should ask me to um, accept the new scopes. It didn't because the Shopify is not going to grab the, the new scope like that. You have to rerun your app. npm run dev. This time it will generate a new URL. If I open the new URL, it is going to ask me to accept the new scope so I can register my function. For now, let's just uh, wait for this to run. Yes, we have added the new scope. Let's open this to re-authenticate. When I open this, it is going to ask me for the new scope, but if it doesn't, okay, cool. Here is the thing. I'll come back to my editor. Whenever I run this, it is not going to uh, use this one because I think I, I got an error here that we have a new scope, but you have to deploy your app to, to use this scope. This is going to use the old configuration and I am going to fix this. Again, I will kill this, npm run deploy. It, whenever I deploy this one or Shopify uh, app deploy, it is going to deploy the new configuration. It says that these things has changed. Do you want to update? I says, yes, let's update this. And if this update the new scope, next time the user installed, uh, open the app, not install, open the app, it is going to use the new configuration. npm run dev. We have the new configuration written here and it should impact the Shopify also. This is where we add the scope. If you want to see all other scopes, you can click this link and it will give you access to all other scopes in the Shopify. So you can come here and say which other scope do you want? Do you want to um, like delete part of like order or something like that? You, you should have the scope for that. Um, okay, cool. Let's open this again and see it should ask me for the new scopes. Okay, discount code and promotion. I need to update my app for this to run. Cool, and these are the basic things. Again, I have to explain and uh, since I do like live recording, I don't want to like uh, pause the video and then come back. A lot of people might face some issues. So that's it. We have everything, everything is working fine. This time let's, let's register this. Before I register, let's come to my editor. And you can see this is my app. I haven't registered anything. Whenever I interact with the store, let's open the store. Okay, I'm going to open this. Let's add a product to the cart and see what happened. Again, this is the lock. Nothing was locked here. I have not registered my function yet. Let's add this product to the cart. It is in the cart. Let's go back to my code. Nothing was locked here because my app have not any register function. Now let's go back to GraphQL. Let's register this function. It was registered. Okay, title must be unique. This is another error. Volume discount, we already have this one. Volume discount from my app. Let's run this one. It should not be duplicated. If it is successful, there should be zero error. This time, my function is running. Let's see what happened. The, the, the function is registered now. Anytime I interact with this store, like modify the card, it should say, okay, something happened here. This time we have an error from product discount. Something happened. This one was executed. This is the store and we have the error. The, not the error. The product discount JS function has successfully using this much instruction. This is a sign of success that it is working as expected. Now to prove this, I will come to my run here. And whenever this run function is, has been called, this is going to console lock something for me.
okay that is just an example I save this and every time you save it should um, update your function and automatically push everything to Shopify this time if I modify the card let's see what happened um, this is the export product discount is running this is the lock inside my function now our function is working as expected all we have to do is uh, return something from here for now it is returning empty discount nothing is applying but if you return something let's say you select an, a product or select all product and apply a discount it is going to uh, give them discount that is how we are going to uh, run our function and register it i hope this video has been informative thank you for watching i will see you in the next video where we will explore uh, um, more configuration on the shopify and how we can run our um, some discount using uh, our function thank you